Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for December 19th, 2013. It's currently 7.54 a.m. We have some chilly temperatures out there, but we're going to be warming up in a big way over the next couple of days as some very warm air invades the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. For today, uh, right now actually, temperatures range from the upper teens to mid-20s over the interior, upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast with a developing southerly wind, that's going to bring some very warm weather conditions to much of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan areas. Okay, so let's take a look at the radar. You can see really not much going on here. This is pretty much ground clutter, not anything to worry about. Dry conditions throughout the entire region. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see high pressure starting to lock in off of the east coast. It's going to produce a nice southerly flow, southwesterly wind, at almost all levels of the atmosphere. This warm front will remain to the north of the region, with most of the rainfall focused over western New York and around the eastern Great Lakes. There could be a few isolated showers here and there today, tomorrow, and also on Saturday, but for the most part, dry conditions can be expected, with temperatures rising well above normal. Now, with all this warm air invading, Unfortunately, that's going to mean the potential for locally dense fog, especially in the morning hours, as that very warm air, we're talking about 40s, 50s, and eventually 60s on Sunday, moving over a pretty thick snowpack for this time of year in December. You usually don't see this much snow on the ground. So you have all this warm air moving over that snowpack, and that leads to the potential for some locally dense fog with visibilities falling below 2 miles in some locations. Then, we have an Arctic cold front that will move through by Monday morning, leading to temperatures crashing through the day. Let's take a look at the latest model guidance from the Penn State EWAL website using the European model guidance. Again, for today, high pressure basically shifts off the coast. We have southwesterly winds. We have temperatures rebounding into the lower to mid 40s over the interior, mid to upper 40s along the coast, melting a lot of the ice that's on the roadways, which is great news. Then on Friday, we warm up a little bit more, mid to upper 40s over the interior, upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast. Can't rule out an isolated shower, but that's about it. And then on Saturday, again, pretty much the same scenario, a strong southwesterly flow at all levels of the atmosphere. Again, we're gonna be looking at temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 50s throughout the entire Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Then on Sunday, we really warm up nicely as the Arctic cold front approaches from the west. We'll warm up into the upper 50s to lower 60s over the interior and mid to upper 60s along the coast, leading to some well above normal temperatures, looking at uh, record breaking temperatures along the east coast on Sunday. Then the whole party comes to an end. I mean a very, very bad end. With an Arctic cold front moving through, look for periods of heavy rain late Sunday, late Sunday night, excuse me, into Monday morning, changing over to snow showers at the end, with temperatures on Monday falling through the 40s and 30s as that Arctic air invades. And then unfortunately, for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, high pressure will be in control with tranquil weather conditions, but very cold weather conditions with temperatures back in the mid to upper 30s for lows and upper teens to mid 20s for lows, should I say, and mid to upper 30s for highs uh, for both days. It's going to be a, a pretty topsy-turvy period over the next five to seven days as uh, we get very warm and then we fall right back into our Arctic weather pattern with cold temperatures taking hold. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino, still fighting the cold, and it's going to get even worse with this warm air. I can just see it now. Everyone's just going to get these colds and get sick with these temperatures going up and down. So try to take care of yourself. Have plenty of vitamin C like me, and uh, try to prevent coughs like what I have now. Of course, you can follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. Have a wonderful day and stay safe out there.